Just today in the New Haven Register, jobless rate ticks up to 9.1%. 9.1%. In North Haven, yesterday, or now it's two days ago, I guess, it was announced at 3.30, the Marlin Firearms that's been there for 250 years or some ridiculous amount of time like that is closing down and 265 jobs are going to be gone by January 1st, 2011. So I decided to find out why were they going to close Marlin Firearms? Why, what was the problem? The reason I was given it first was it's expensive to do business in the state of Connecticut. But I'll tell you what was the most important thing they said. We're closing down Marlin Firearms so we could expand. I didn't understand that, and I asked them to explain it. And this is their explanation. For what it costs to run a business in North Haven, Connecticut, or in Connecticut, we could run the same business in a larger plant with more employees in North Carolina. So literally, they closed the plant in North Haven to open up a bigger plant with more employees down south. So they really closed up North Haven to expand. If that doesn't send a signal that we are in the wrong ball game to get businesses, I don't know what else does. Where are we going? What message are we sending? What message are we sending to the business world? We're saying we want to spend more. I know we're not on the other bill, but when I heard some conversations about this bill and how we're not maximizing federal dollars, I'm all for maximizing federal dollars, but I'm not for maximizing federal dollars for the purpose of spending more of those dollars to increase the size of government. We've got to stop, ladies and gentlemen. We have to stop. It is tough to run a business. Small businesses barely keeping their beaks above that water. And it's getting tougher and tougher and tougher. And those of us who run small businesses, as I do, know the problems we have in the state of Connecticut and how tough it is to run a business in the state of Connecticut. 